the 3 a.m. show is Dan here. Yo, Faro here, guys. And it's Chow Time! Alright, today, okay, this episode is gonna be, it's not gonna be, it's brought to you by a recently viral friend of ours. Okay, it's Who about it again? Abang oh, Buta. Okay, Abang Buta. Okay, so basically, a mutual friend of us. Uh, we used to do some form of Malay cultural stuff called BK Barat, and then this guy is like a legend. And recently he got viral on Twitter because of um, shouting things outside from his window la, because of a certain influencer got into some uh, trouble. trouble because of being uh, uh, Miss Goody Two Shoes. Miss Goody Two Shoes and trying to act smart la, kacau, Too smart ah, too smart Kacau the HBB or home based business people uh, lah So we don't want to mention the name later anything happen Correct uh, So because of that person Abang Botok was actually <laughs> Was actually pissed off at the situation He actually <laughs> shout out, shouted out of his window uh, To the people um, in his estate And uh, a few things got viral because he got retweeted and shared and retweeted again um, and also I think because his wife uh, got gave him a death stare when he did the thing and then that became viral stuff so he actually named this thing that we're gonna eat today the same thing over the virality of his stuff so it's called pie per cake at Tinkup or <laughs> the pie that you shout from your window. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't have a good ring. Yeah, so, it's translated. Yeah, right? I'm just giving you yeah, what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, pie per cake at Okay, so uh, yeah. basically today, so I'm just gonna go into it. What we have today is actually shepherd's pie. Okay, but uh, traditionally, to what I understand, shepherd's pie is supposed to be lamb. Um, but the TV, yeah, bro. Solid bro Shredded <laughs> heavy Okay yeah. so this is the packaging that you get So quite uh, I would say uh, Quite Some standard uh, For a home based business Okay this is uh, Aluminium uh, Packaging or tray or container Aluminium okay. um, It's 7 inches Okay 7 inches by 4 inches Okay so the the This is I think a good serving Of I think 1 to 2 person one, I mean, one for <laughs> us lah. Like you're talking about pie, so this two, 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 two to three lah. Three three should be okay. okay. Yeah. But for us, I think this is one. 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 Yeah. So this is big. I'm gonna take over, take out the cover. Oh. Okay. Look at this crust. Okay. This is what you see. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh. Okay. So, um. But what are the ingredients that you think is in a shepherd's pie? Um, pretty obvious cheese. <laughs> that one is okay. Main ingredient, main, main. Potato. Okay. So, uh, for this particular uh, packaging, okay, seven inches by four inches. Okay, it is consisting of Holland onions, Holland potatoes. Okay, as the whole starchy base. Yeah. And then you have the carrots um, and also minced beef again. This is a beef variation of a shepherd's pie. Okay, and on top of that, it's topped with secret herbs and spices. I think their own personal blend that they've come uh, come out with. Maybe, and maybe definitely, I think they uh, asked Plankton for help. To, I mean, I know it's for Krabby Patty, but then I no, think... No, then why, why should they ask? We because need to ask Plankton. Because Plankton tried to get from, from Krusty Krab. No, but then the thing is, they also have secret in this, right? So that means they ask from Plankton to they work together with Plankton to do what? No, we to should work. get to get the no. We, this is their own, so we should work with Plankton to find out what is the recipe. No, so Plankton go and find for us because now our Buta is like a secret. Oh, uh, they uh, are the one with the the recipe. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so whatever. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna follow this all about this one. I wanna double check because it's actually needed. <laughs> okay, usually guys, um personally when uh, I buy a so-called okay, a pack, I would say a pack of shepherd's pie, it would be okay, I'm just gonna use my fork. Okay, it would be somewhere around here. 
and it will end around here which is very 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 small so a quarter of this uh. roughly a quarter of this so for me it will be like a few spoons and i'm done and mm. this one all right um okay this is not a paid presentation like <laughs> like any other presentation that we have done okay this i dare say is very solid why because it is pure pie in a tray listen to that sound guys right? <laughs> it is pure solid pie, uh. solid pie. Mm. okay not pie oxygen <laughs> we are still gonna use that okay pie oxygen buta <laughs> <laughs> oxygen oxygen okay I don't know how you get pie oxygen. Eh, but it can, yeah. Can. Okay. Only pie potato. Ah, some some actually when they do shepherd's pie, they only give potato <laughs> and cheese. And the cheese <laughs> is the slice cheese. Ah. <laughs> it's the fair price whereby you buy two for cheese slices. Ah, ah cheese slices. slices ah, the cheddar square slice cheese. We buy from fair price, we buy low fat, two for three dollar kind of thing, that one. <laughs> then, because it's in a smaller size, right, they just maybe cut it into half. They put one, the other half they use for another three. Okay? <laughs> but, pent up anger of previous experience. <laughs> yes. But, from this smell, right, uh, I mean, it's um, it has that so-called pungent cheese smell where I love. And, um, it... It is not. It smells like it smells like a mixture of parmesan and, and correct, correct, and correct mozzarella. Correct, correct. So it is not that typical cheese one. It they they actually really spread. Okay, all. quality product guys. Quality product gives you sorry. Quality ingredients give you quality product. Okay, so Faro has really delve on the uh, exterior. I wanna dissect this whole thing so that we don't bullshit. Okay, it's the same thing. It's at the rim, ah. Huh? Yes, just this is where the uh, oh. aluminium cover sits. As you can see, both of our sets, right? Um, it is to the brim. Huh? Mm. Yeah, it, you can see the space here. Yeah. It is really to the brim, guys. I mean, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like take a piece or uh, or this other people. Yeah, I understand. Uh, you're trying your very best, but then um, the the thing is, the thing is, right? They really put it up to the brim, so. Uh, effort, never effort, change, correct. Yeah. You never short change your customer. So even let's say, oh, but then uh, I I do this, then I <laughs> when I do this, right? I charge lesser. But then sometimes if you think that you charge lesser, the the, the person that is buying, yeah, we're paying for the experience. We're not uh, we're not paying for you to save money. Correct, correct. You correct. business, you put the price that you think is justified because correct. you need to sell proper food lah. You know, correct, correct, correct. correct. Lah. You you don't say oh but then I already sell it at two fifty so I I can only give you two fifty worth of potato oh, shites <laughs> two fifty worth of potato all right I just saw I just saw the the, the pie in its glory all right so okay as you can see okay as you can see. So, 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 so. Oh, I, I, I really no, the thing is, the thing is, right? <laughs> okay, the thing is, uh, as you can see, people, all right, see, it's a good amount of potato. Uh, it's a good amount of potato <laughs> right on top, bro. Yep, it's good amount of potato and a good amount of meat at the bottom of it. So, close. Okay, look at the presentation, the cheese that is. That has been uh, so called melted and on top. So, this is the amount of meat. They use minced beef. Huh? Okay, so the chunks mm. of carrots and onions are inside. Uh, this, one, this one really uh, uh, praise the Lord for the bountiful <laughs> <laughs> for the bountiful harvest that we've received uh, for today. Um, thank you for your amazing uh, <laughs> potatoes and uh, thank you for the beef that you have given us. And uh, I'm just gonna yes. take a photo for the camera before we. <laughs> yeah, so for like, like, okay, uh, how much is this going for? Uh, I don't know. Uh, people might be put off by the price, but if you see 
if you see you talk about value for money yeah. correct if you see the the, the 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 potato and the meat right like what Dean said just now it's 50-50 it is worth it if you actually would, uh, would think about it so one three pack mm, three. three one three goes for twelve dollars guys twelve dollars worth of proper potato meat carrot um uh, secret herbs and spice all right and of course loads of cheese twelve dollars guys okay no oxygen huh? It's really <laughs> filled to the brim Okay, filled to the brim This one, like what Dean said uh, Perhaps it could actually feel uh, or, or feed two to three people To be really honest Because the amount of potato they give, right It's enough um, yeah. uh, It's enough for you to actually uh, get full So you need not really think a lot Or think so much uh, on on whether you have enough carbohydrates for the day or not okay yeah so, so yeah we have said everything that we can say or we need to say all talk is just gonna be bs so let's cut the bs and get to tasting it's pc eh you ain't got it's pc eh <laughs> got no i want to show whoa mm. okay I'm just going to comment on the beef first How would people cut corners with this? You just put the whole chunk of minced meat beneath and then done But for this the meat filling is actually mixed with the carrots There are chunks of carrots, chunks of onions Okay. Holland onions as mentioned before, carrots and then the beef cannot complain mm. the minced meat right or the minced beef mm. it's I don't know it's well really really well seasoned um, I don't know some, some minced beef or like minced meat as a whole mm. A wee bit too peppery, a wee mm. bit too salty, over over spice, uh, over season, over season. Yeah, this one is, I dare say, the epitome of Ooh. well seasoned. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> this one, the shit never come. I'm done. Is he cannot button this one? I doubt. <laughs> But I'm enjoying this. Okay, so for the for the mashed potato layer, right? The potato is very mm, smooth and silky, but it's not runny. Hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's mashed, but it's not too soft. Yeah, it's it's. I would say it's a good amount of lump and chewiness to it. Uh, there is there is good weight to it. Uh. It's not watery. I hate watery mashed potato. Like I ordered mashed potato, not runny or watery potato. <laughs> if not, then I'll just buy potato soaked in water. Makes sense. <laughs> right. Like I mean sorry to say uh, usually this one is common in certain fast food. Very too watery because it's a premix. Uh that's also how you know if the mashed potato is instant because it's powder oh yeah so you add water then yeah. it becomes if it's too smooth then yeah this one has a good amount of volume to it with some weight to it and just like that i'm already like quarter way into the pie they are using secret herbs and spices just guess mm. Ginseng Siap Ginseng put inside shepherd's pie Third word This one shepherd pie not xiao long pie If xiao long pie you put in Oh no What the hell man ginseng Hmm Wow 
Guarana. Kalau enggak lah. Ya, yeah. I think I think gak kimchi lah. Kimchi <laughs> sorry. Yo, kita buat. Ayo. Lah, kalau Erin you want to button to the top. Don't neck want to button to the top. <laughs> okay, so from the taste, right? Pepper is a yes. Mm. I'm talking about black pepper. Good mm. amount of sugar. Yeah, there's sugar definitely. There's also salt. Mm. I want to see tomato but Why tomato? Because this would really be good on on pasta. Don't you think it's too full? It's too filling. No, 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 no. Without the potato, I mean the the meat. Oh, the meat, the meat. I don't know why, but I got this. I don't think the sweetness. Okay, the sweetness of course comes from the onion. It creates a natural yeah. sweetness uh, to it. Correct, but. I I I I just feel that there is another extra kick or another extra push. Mm. Like when you press the nose button, you can then we go faster than the thing. The extra is kick. it because in your mind, looking at it, you're picturing a lasagna. No, that's why you think the put uh, tomato. No, there's there's a sweetness, but then there's no tang. I mean, tomato yeah. has a tang. Yeah, the tang flavor, the acidity to it. Mm. I want to say there's oregano. Of course. Um, uh, not parsley. Mm. Parsley will be too strong. Yeah. Hmm. Apa ni? Cinnamon? Pet? Cinnamon? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Whatever it is, the secret spice blend is, I think, works. Okay. The thing about a pie, right? The filling, wheat, fruits, berries, meats, it has to be separate from mm. the starch mm. that forms the pie. Okay, like Japanese pie, the starchy base is actually the mashed potato. Like from for other pies, it's crust pastry and flour and stuff. So for this. I enjoy the fact that it's clearly separated, like the layer which is the meat. Okay, for the meat, right? I can dare say that the whole mix with the onions, the spices, the carrots was done in totality first, and then scoop up and then lay at the to form the base of the pie. Because every scoop you have I the onion the, and I the think carrots you cook first. No, I said it's pretty cool lah. Yeah, then, cool, then, yeah. then you after that you finish up with baking. Correct, correct. But what I mean is, it's mixed totally because some some uh, shepherd's pie will be like you you cook the meat, but then the vegetable you just sprinkle, like it's just the top, so it becomes the layer in between the the mashed potatoes and the. Yeah, but the the carrots would actually taste super super crunchy. Yeah. So this goes to show that it was cooked together. Yeah, yeah. Bukan. Hey, oh, I thought I got grey hair. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Too much, bro. I mean, speaking out already. That's why I was like, eh, apa ni? So, ah, uh, and and other, I mean, I tasted like other shepherd spice also, right? The, the the meat and the potato is actually all jumbled up together hmm. inside. Hmm. It's hard to actually separate. I mean, it's, okay, you, I, I don't really separate. But then the thing is, sometimes, um, the, 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 the taste from the meat gets absorbed by the potato, and you can't really like it. It becomes just meat. I agree totally. Like it, it becomes just this one. If you are the kind of eater that you know you don't like that whole mess. You want to eat part by part? You can do so because mm. let's say take a fork, poke out the mashed potato. You can separate the potato from the meat itself. Correct. So you can have the untainted uh, potato flavor, and then you go to your protein. But if you are a kind like us, 
That's the whole chunk right there. Then you marry it together in your mouth. Mm. Okay. Um, let's give the review. Okay, speak. Let me just share with you when we collected this. It was prepared one hour before our collection. So speed is a giveaway. It's a definite yes. Mm, I will give it a 4.5 because um, we need to... There is still that lapse in time. Correct, correct. Right. It's not, but it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It is not. That means that like, um, when you order, then they, they prepare. They mm -hmm. cook. You don't... It's not ready, ready it's not stock. Ready stock, and then after that, oh, this person is gonna buy. Okay, then I will just reheat it and mm. sell it. It's made to order. Correct. So, I will also give 4.5. Okay. Like that. I mean, the fact that if it's if it can like be prepared on that day itself and be ready like in an instant, then magic. Mm. But we know that it couldn't happen. La. So, the best you can give me is 4.5. I think for the foreseeable future, right? When we eventually get to do our live vlogs or on-site vlog, then we can see whether people can impress us with the speed because we can order on-site and then we justify with the waiting time that we are there. Yeah. Mm. But for now, this is as good as you can go for self-collect food. Uh. By the way, we self-collected it. So, there are delivery options as well. Like you can talk to Abang Butak and then see what he says. Okay. Next up to be your taste. Mm. I would give it 4.8. <laughs> Why? A wee bit disappointed. Wee bit. Wee bit. Not enough cheese. Ah. <laughs> not not cheesy enough. But with the other stuff that's going on, it actually is forgiven. So I'm thankful for for the meat. That is really really well seasoned. The mm. the potato that is amazing. Yep. It's not too hard, not too soft mm. or runny like what um Din uh, mentioned. So yeah, this by far is the best shepherd's pie that I've had throughout my whole life. <laughs> my whole life yeah i dare say okay so yeah four point eight yeah mm, okay taste wise i love it i love the untainted flavor of each component the ability to be able to separate and enjoy it on its own or the option to also eat it as a whole pie itself i'm gonna give it a I'm probably gonna give it um I would say a 4.5 for this because yeah my standards like must be able to hit then I can give five lah like certain episodes we have we've had like legit five like there is always room for improvement no 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 I'm not hitting this this is actually legit good stuff okay so um if moving on to texture I will stick with 4.5 not because that is bad but because it's different because first and foremost is beef so mm. it's not as gamey as how lamb is right yeah so typical shepherd's pie is actually lamb so it's a it's a nice change of pace mm. something that is also different is that they don't throw in other things that they think is nice like some shepherd's pie that i've tried they throw mixed vegetables in because of the fact that they want the carrots to be in they never take the Frozen carrots, the the corn, then got, yeah. got green pea. Correct. So they have corn, green pea. <laughs> no, no disrespect to those, but I think 
if you're talking about um, taste, corn is very sweet. So you have that adding to the meat. The meat becomes very sweet. Um, if you have pea, it's a change in the texture. Yeah. Because peas, uh, if not prepared uh, properly, it becomes very crunchy and chewy, which is horrible to eat. Okay, if it's too soft, there was a point. So, I am giving it a 4.5 for texture as well. I love the fact that it's a good change of pace from the chunky mashed potatoes, which is ideally this is the way shepherd's pie is supposed to be. It's supposed to be solid. Okay, it's not supposed to be runny because if it's runny, it's mashed potato. We are not looking for mashed potato. Mm. We're looking for pie, shepherd's pie. And the idea is it has to hold itself. Like I've had some shepherd's pie which is so runny where when you apply the potato, it sinks and it becomes part of the meat. Worse still, the meat comes get pushed to the side and then it becomes <laughs> on top. So like you have a what? Uh, uh, upside down shepherd's pie. <laughs> like what's the point? <laughs> like yeah, we don't want that. So too far for me. Four point five for all three categories. This one I will uh, also give. Uh, four point five because um, I dare say this is actually the first time I'm eating shepherd's pie like this, which is separated, right? Meat and potato, different. It's not combined together. Mm. But what I can really say, right? Um, this is a good one because, as you can see from my tray, I've. This is the first time I've actually eaten very um, neatly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very neat. Again, okay. you see, fat papas can attest that. <laughs> very very neat. Why I say that is because, guys, I'm not wasting or none of the potato or meat is wasted, getting stuck at the side of the trays. I will okay. show you in a bit. Yeah. Okay. This one, right? Usually, the normal shepherd's pie, which is combined, okay, the, the mashed potato, it gets stuck at the corners, okay. Then, fat me, will put my utensil down, use my finger, and I will dig and scrape every corner of the tray, and I will finish it. But this one, I need not do that. As you can see, in specimen 2.1, <laughs> okay. Um, in, in case exhibit A. Yes. Okay, look, look at how clean the tray is. <laughs> look, okay, yeah. guys, Abang Buta, <clears throat> Abang Long, the sheep, bro, oh. okay. Hey. okay, don't, don't, don't think that, uh, don't think that I purposely, <laughs> no, ah, uh, this one is called saving for later, <laughs> okay. He's gonna ravage this off camera. Ah, right? this one saving for later. Oh yeah, to okay. add on for the texture just now, right? What I wanted to say was as well that came to mind was the fact that I love the fact that because the meat was clearly, clearly, evidently pre-cooked with the vegetables itself, the onions, the flavor gets so into the beef, which gives the beef a very, very sweet flavor, a very nice onion flavor. And the fact that the onions are not burnt or oh. chunky and crunchy. Crunchy uh, onion is annoying. Yes, correct, correct, correct. I but mean, this is... I mean, the, the, the beef is also well cooked to, to the extent that, coming to your point, right, it's not burnt, it doesn't, it doesn't have that charred taste. It's just cooked nicely. Then you still have to cook it again. So you you need there not really overcook yeah, and there is a baking involved. And mm. also, I would believe this is pan fry or or some form of stir fry mm, 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 mm. or saute the mm. beef and stuff. So wow. <laughs> okay. So uh, we move on to our next um, two categories or two judging criteria uh, will be the um, presentation Presentation to me I will give a 5 Because of the fact Aluminium tray Number 1 The fact that It was full to the brim Number 2 Number 3 Now no burn Stuck pieces Ingredients on the side Which goes to show That nothing goes to waste That is important Because Normally when I When I eat I'm very particular 
I, I would say I'm a, I'm, I'm a crust duster like some people would do I, some people are just like eat and then they just leave it as easy for me I will go for that crust bite and stuff because that is where all the flavours collect correct yes and usually just get those things get burnt the and cheese that's, that's where the flavour is but nothing is left to chance here so every day and this was eaten on camera I didn't there's no special effect you all, you all saw me eat this from just now so presentation I'll give you a 5 portion for the um, portion wise, five lah, because no corners would cut. Good amount of potato, good amount of uh, filling or meat. What more can I see, man? <laughs> Okay, yes, so back to what we mentioned earlier, this is a good one to two percent sharing. I would say one to two, maybe two to even three. three, maybe even uh, three. Maybe if you're not a potato person or beef person, yeah, probably three. Mm. But I would say comfortable portion will be two, two. half, 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 half. Yeah, that's nice. So, I mean, for big eaters, we can take one on our own. So, for this is a good sharing meal, this, this is a good, um, I would say, third dish on the table. That you can have for eating something else, or you can have this as an afternoon tea kind of. Uh, I mean, ideally, shepherd's pie is a tea kind Correct, of right, di yeah. dish. So yeah, for supper, late night supper. <laughs> I mean, this one you can pop into your microwave oven and then just really, which is gonna be a whole different heavenly taste. I can stop yeah. looking at it. Uh. Too perfect, right? The thing. No, I love the fact it's, that it doesn't simple. stick. Yes, it's that it doesn't. There's no burn parts to it. Yeah, and then the then this is they they got this very not not flaky like very pointy grassy texture on the top where the cheese actually rise and mm. got almost but not burn correct like almost cooked but not burn so it's perfect. This one right, if uh, if you were to say to me with the cover on, mm. if you were to say to me, uh yeah uh, I got this from. Let's say some fast food chains mm -hmm. or whatsoever, right? I would actually believe you, you know. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks, looks like it. It looks so professional. Yeah, and well made. Like like I I I wouldn't be able to tell that it's actually from someone's house. Yeah, <laughs> so it doesn't it's look really really homemade. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, look really homemade. Mean. It looks very professional. To to suddenly just scribble like uh, some company name blah 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 this and that and then can be eaten by what time what time what time. Yeah. I, I would actually believe it. Oh wow, you actually bought it from a shop. But yeah, it's a home base. It's a, yeah. It's a, it's a, yeah, so this I would say in the pie game probably this is a game changer. Oh yes. Like I, I would yes. say I cannot I cannot undermine the the fact that it's so clean. It's clean guys, like there's no and it's so good. Like the downside for this aluminium tray, right? When you use it to package food, right? It doesn't lie to you. Like, it, you can tell how this was used in the whole cooking process. Like, usually when it's burned, I mean, I've worked in FMB as well. So, if you cook in this, yeah, you're going to end up with the things burned onto the stuff. But clearly, this was like cooked, prepared first, and then you scoop it, and then you do your final baking in this. Mm -hmm. Which allows you to have this. No, no. <laughs> I just, I'm just very impressed. With no, your... the thing is, usually... We have to really scrape it off. Yeah, but this one is like very effortless. You just put your utensil in, get the the potato and the meat out, and that's it. Voila, done. And we never put any effort into like alamak, see so got cheese on there, and we still dig it up. No. Okay, I'll just show you guys again. I'll poke, I'll poke, and I lift it up. Done. <laughs> All right, so all across the board, we have judged. And last one, we will say whether there is a value for money at twelve dollars per pie with the amount of premium ingredients that they use. I think you cannot go any lower than this. In fact, they should be charged higher. Yeah, <laughs> and but this is really good, like amount of effort. You know, this one is really no corners were cut. This one, like, uh, uh, anyhow, uh, I yeah. try, uh, no effort. So value for money definitely. So once again, uh, this is pie per cake at Tingkap by Abang Botak. Okay. 
Um, how do you order? Can order. Order. Sorry. Can order through Facebook. Okay. Yeah, Facebook, you can actually uh, PM Abang Bota himself. Okay, Abang Bota. Bota is B O T space T A K. Bota, not one word. So Bota. Okay. Uh, or you can WhatsApp him directly at the number nine zero nine zero one four three four. Once again, nine zero nine zero one four three four. Okay, WhatsApp him, drop him a text. Okay, so again, this whole pie, one of this seven inch by four inches. Is going for twelve dollars. It's a beef shepherd's pie, okay. And there is an offer going on right now, which is order four and you get one free. So for forty-eight dollars, you get five pies of goodness, okay. So again, this is a beef shepherd's pie. Say again, beef shepherd's pie, okay. So if you would like to give this a try, um. Contact Abang Buta, okay. Uh, hopefully, in the near future, the socials will be up. If yes, in the future episodes of our um, of this particular vlog itself, we will update the copywriting and the caption below. If not, it will stay as it is. So before we end the show, um, do like um, our Facebook page and also our Instagram page and follow us at 3 a.m. SG over here. Okay, it's 3 a.m. SG, and we are also on. YouTube and Spotify okay. at the 3 a.m. show. And definitely we are also on Twitter at the 3 a.m. show SG. So give us a like, give us a share, give us a follow. If you have not done so, if your first time on this Facebook channel or sorry, on this Facebook, Instagram or whichever you're viewing, if you're on YouTube, press the subscribe button over here. Okay, like, give us a thumbs up for this video. Okay, if you like what we're doing. Okay, press the bell button beside the subscribe button if you want to know or find out and get notified when we release new videos. Okay, if not, if you're watching on IGTV, the heart shape is over there. Press the heart shape button, smash, smash the heart shape button, smash. drop us a comment, let us know what you like about the videos. Anything else we put in the description. If not, that is all for me with the pipe kit at Tinkat by Abang Bota for today's Chow Tan. Then here, far away here, guys. It has been the 3M show and it's. Hi guys, thank you for watching our video. Okay, it's Dead here. Maru here guys. Okay, so if you like what you saw, subscribe to our channel to find out more. Okay, look through our either uh, all our other videos. We have the hijinks. Hijinks is where we do crazy stuff we try things. We have blowout. Blowout is all our event call-outs and all the shenanigans that we go out there and not in the studio. And our favorite, of course, is the Ciao. shout out. Again, there will be our food vlogs and reviews. So if you like what you saw, once again, press the bell button to subscribe and get a notification every time we release a video. If not, that has been the 3AM show. <laughs>